you click one button, it will say, well, in, in your career ladder, uh, you need uh, these type of uh, courses and programs. And here are the courses and programs that your friends have taken successfully. And here are the outcomes. And uh, if you want to change your career or if you want to go into a certain uh, industry, here are the things that you will need. So a lot of these things will be automated. Like a Google AdSense, as you refer to, uh, uh, before you try to find a company, it already lists all the companies that you would be interested in uh, buying things from. So same thing would happen in the education space. You know, when you just go to Google website, it will list all the education opportunities and all the learning opportunities that, that would be right for you, that would be necessary for you, and so forth. And that in the pace, in the in the sequence, that that will work best for you, you know. So I think that's the kind of uh, uh, environment we're gonna see in the long run. Well, I think that what we see today is that a lot of curated contents. You know, there are great contents by great professors from great universities, and then there are platforms that are curating all these contents nicely. So people can go find it and take courses, etc. So that's probably generation one model. The generation two model would be uh, you type in things you want, and then it will find things that 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 you really need, etc. And then in that process, maybe if there's a cost is uh, cost is associated, then maybe you can say, I want to spend a certain amount of money, and I want to get my degrees. And here are my schedules, etc. You so you type all these things, and they will say, "Well, here's the best course for you to take, and here's the best program for you today." And it's uh, by your input, it is affordable for you. you know? So that's probably generation two model. Generation three model that I think that it will come in the in the long run is basically you don't even have to type in things because they already know who you are and what you need and what you want. It's based on you, based on your previous performance, previous searches, previous profile information, uh, previous engagement in any of the activities. Based on all you have done, all your data, all your information, this algorithm, it's, it's a system. It will cater things for you. It's good and bad. It's good and bad. Uh, good thing, you will uh, realize something that you haven't seen before. Uh, maybe you had another potential in different career. Maybe you had another uh, very unique uh, character that you did not know about or skill set you did not know about. So the systems and algorithms and all this uh, information and data all the social network based knowledge will help you discover you better I think in my opinion uh, the negative things is if you don't share anything with the world probably the computers will not know anything about you so if you don't share you're probably not gonna gain these benefits um, at the same time there is this security issues. If you reveal so much about yourself, there are bad people who will try to take advantage. So how do you draw the boundary between how much you want to allow and how much should be allowed, right? And then uh, things that you want to share and things that you shouldn't share. So I think this type of uh, uh, area would be uh, another learning ob uh, objective uh, for schools, I guess. I guess schools should teach children uh, what to share, what not to share, how much to share, what to do and what not to do, etc. These are probably new topics that I think the school should be covering. 